Sam, I thought I told you dooms and BBs were a dangerous combination. Huh, perhaps a shower is in order. You're still covered in Kyralium. Don't want the president to see you like that. The hell are you talking about? She's dead. <sighs> You're upset. Is this about BB-28? Go fuck yourself. I'm not your errand boy. Well, in any event, it seems it owes you its life. No, we owe the kid our lives. You, you know, maybe you shouldn't be shaking the baby. As you say, I shall look Even after. if you plan to dispose of it. Give my regards to the president. Isn't the president dead? Also, I noticed the baby is trying to wave to, uh, Norman. Also, greetings and salutations, folks. And welcome back. To Death Stranding. Where I presume a new president has been elected in secret? Or are- is, uh... Is Dead Man so dedicated to his craft that uh, he's even like it's keeping the secret uh, when nobody's looking? Also, she really loves those red dresses. Here, it's a dream catcher. Wear it when you sleep, and I'll keep the nightmares away. I'll always be with you. Also, I would imagine it's a special sort of person who wears heels at the beach. Like, people have criticized Jurassic World, specifically, because, uh... There's the sequence in Jurassic World where Bryce Dallas Howard's character, whatever her name is, uh, is running from the T-Rex, uh... in her heels. Which, on one hand, sounds like a bad idea in the first place. But then on the other hand, Sam, like somebody right. actually had to do the running in the movie, whether it's her or her stunt double. Take a moment to clean up, wash all that Kyrelium off, then come to the president's office. I presume that Die Hard Man is now the president. Let's examine the monster energy drink. And wow. Like the melted army men that look like the uh, BTs. Shall we put on our sunglasses? Aw, oh, yeah. Examine figures? <laughs> okay. Um, I appreciate the fact that uh, he's literally pointing out the figures as though he's motioning to the camera itself. Maybe have some of this sweet monster energy drink. Unleash the beast! That is a very detailed monster energy drink can. Also, hold on a second. Can be boosted up to 25%. Can we see his horrible feet? Jesus Christ. You know, I suppose if I walked everywhere, like Sam does, maybe my feet might also look as horrible as that, but... Wow. He definitely needs a shower. Can I get off of this... Do I have to interact with this entire room from the safety of this bed? Is, 
Is the toilet in the shower? I mean, I suppose that is an element of convenience. All right, I suppose now we get to see who the new president is. Presumably Die Hard Man, unless somebody else uh, ended up with the role. You did well, Sam. But we know by this Thank point you. this is an th this Bridget office no be with us, but is entirely an illusion. A chance to live on. Or Sam, is Die Hard Man not really representing? The president as a position, or is he and Dead Man essentially representing the construct that is Bridget? This is the face of our new hope, our new America. Homily. Just like the real presidency. My mother may be gone. But I'm here. When the president dies, you, uh, the their children uh, inherit the position. Been ten years since you saw each other, right? And in all that time, she hasn't aged a day. He knows why. My body's still on the beach. I don't get to grow older. Okay, I have a lot of questions about the beach. Good. So I believe serious. her body... Okay, so she says her body's on the beach. I believe Hartman also has a similar issue. Someone has to succeed Bridget, Sam. More importantly, someone has to carry on her legacy and see our country rebuilt. Samantha America Strand, our new president. A new beginning for our Samantha for our America Stan Strand. Is that her her uh, full name? That the United Cities of America. This is how we'll rebuild our country. But we'll need your help to do it, Sam. No, I'm through with this. I said my goodbyes to all of you when I said them to Bridget. We never forgot about you, Sam. You ran away. You cut us off. Also, uh, this means that this, if I tried to save Amelie, an expedition, the best of bridges won and went west. Then it essentially becomes like the tagline from the movie Ignition, uh, which goes, He thought he was saving her, but in fact, he was saving America. And she apparently represents America because it's in her name. Safe while they searched for survivors. Never once missed a BT. Saw him coming a mile away. We convinced community after community to join the UCA. And we left behind our own people to help them. It took us three years, but we managed to make it all the way to Edgenault City. All the way to the Pacific. Jesus. Yeah. Is that my goal? Do I have to, to get all the way the to the west? Out, and Emily was taken. By who? Taken. I'm not being kept in a cell or anything like that. I'm allowed to use their facilities and to speak with you whenever I want. I just can't leave the city. It's all to safeguard the continued independence of Edgenot City. Well, that's what her keepers are saying, at least. They want the UCA to leave them be. Emily's their insurance policy in case we don't. Who are these assholes again? Homo Demons. Militant Separatist Group. They run Edgenot City. I've heard of them. A bunch of terrorists who go around towns killing people and leaving craters. Right. Nothing's off limits for this. So I've already Nothing seen one of them. Uh, he was on the truck when the crater was made. You think the suicide that took out Central Knot was one of theirs? 
Could be. They're extremists like the demons everywhere, plotting in the shadows. They're decentralized by nature. No one organization to rule them all. Just a common ideology. I know not everyone shares our vision for the future. If we Americans don't come together again, humanity won't survive. I carried my mother's message to people all across the country. But not everyone was willing to accept it. And thusly, the role of the postman is granted to Sam. Keep to themselves. That his goal is to create these connections for America. To build bridges between these isolated outposts. By men who tell them what to do. Who take away their freedom and put them in shackles. What'd you put on me? Huh? You know better than the demons. Just another kind of cult. They're not shackles, Sam. They're a symbol of our bonds. That's what we need right now. Not to stand apart, but to come together. To form chiral knots and reconnect. Sam, we want you to go west and finish what Emily started. The people she left behind have been hard at work, setting up chiral network terminals. But these terminals are still isolated. We need you to bring them online. And for that, you'll need a Cupid. This contains all the necessary security and operations protocols to integrate. Oh, the okay. So there's the uh, the thing he was wearing around his neck in the trailer. Sam, and reconnect the people of our great nation. For some reason, I thought they were called keys, but Emily, I suppose a Cupid. After that, our graphic design team spent a lot of time working on that animation. This was Bridget's dying wish. This is how we'll move forward. Please, Sam. We need you. I'm Sam Porter Bridges now. I'm not a strand. Hell, I'm not even part of this outfit. You all saw to that. I'm not getting involved with you. Okay, anyone else. so the last okay. name... Wait. ...is not a surname, but like a, a name of position? Like he admits See, to once being like a member Sam of the Strand the family. Sam, Sam. But his designation as Bridges is separate from his position Hold working on. for Bridges. Stop. Listen to me, America needs you, both of you. Yeah, covering the world in cable didn't bring an end to war and suffering. Don't act surprised when it all comes apart if you try to do it again. Round and round it goes. Connect, reconnect, it's not that simple. All right, all right, Sam. Just take it easy. I get it. You don't have to commit to anything now. Why not get some rest? Do a little job here. Good idea. Do another little job there. Sleep. Leave it too long and you're liable to reconnect with the other side. The necessary maintenance has been okay. completed. Okay. Various adjustments and fine-tuning for your benefit. You can use it again. For once, it would seem that Dooms and BBs are a good combination. <laughs> or perhaps the two of you have something of an affinity for one another. I don't know. I, I guess the baby's supposed to be cute, but on the other hand, like, the baby's forehead is really big. Like, are baby's foreheads normally big like that? Either way, um, Dead Man definitely, um, now, either Dead Man took a surprise U-turn on his position about the BB, or does Dead Man realize that the BB is a method of uh, emotionally manipulating uh, Sam? Also, is the importance of the last name meaningful because by possessing the different name from his family? Um, Sam. 
This enables him to consider himself separate from the entire organization, separate from his family and from his legacy. Listen, you are Sam Strand. No, I'm not. Not anymore. My name is Sam Porter Bridges. It says so in my uniform. It's a funny word, Strand. A strand is part of rope or bond. While stranding means being washed up on the shore. And being stranded is when you can't go home. I'm stranded now, Sam. Here on the shore of the Pacific. I get the feeling that Hideo enjoys words that have multiple meanings. Thousands of miles away, but our bond still holds. But then I suppose you could say, like, that's the, the entire beginning of the setup of the game. The idea that if you push somebody away with a stick, pull somebody in with a rope. You're free, but we're still connected. Don't tell me we're not. Also, it's kind of odd that whenever he's looking at her in the dream sequence, he can never see her in the eye. He never looks her in the eye. Also, did her clothes just change? Did her clothes become gray for one particular second and that's it? And now again, yeah. The uh, the sleeve on her arm was gray in that shot as well. So I guess like with the I, I mentioned this just briefly before. But in the movie, uh, The Sixth Sense, red is used as an indicator um, of things that death has touched. For instance, um, at one point in the story, uh, the kid, I forget the character's name, played by Haley Joel Osment, uh, goes to a birthday party. And while he's at the birthday party, was it a birthday party or a funeral? I think it was a funeral. Um, he sees a, a woman, the mother of the dead kid. Private rooms come with all the basic amenities. Shower, toilet, etc. Drop in when you need to rest. Inspect your gear, review info, or whatever else. If you have any questions, feel free to ask our staff. But before you do, why not check things out for yourself? See how Bridges operates these days. Now, when he sees the mother of the dead child, uh, the mother is wearing a red dress. Um, there's the door that leads to the basement of, uh, of Bruce Willis's home. Every time he opens it, it's locked. And I believe it has a red doorknob. Only later on does he discover there's actually a bookshelf in the way that he could not see. Yeah, some more monsters. Skip that. Um. Shall we use the toilet while sitting down? Sam Hartman here. Researcher devoted to uncovering the secrets of the beaches and the Death Stranding. As well as those of dudes and repatriates. Ride when with Norman Reedus yourself, on AMC? A amount of chiral <laughs> matter is flushed from your system. Chiral matter can adversely affect hormone secretion and nervous function. There's a correlation between exposure and the development of phobias. As well as, in extreme cases, violent and suicidal impulses. Chirelium contamination has even been postulated as a trigger for the onset of dooms. Allow me to collect a sample of your excretions for my studies. 
They provide a non-invasive means to monitor your exposure to chirelium and your overall health. So is he basically saying that um, that Sam's uh, fear of being touched by people might actually be uh, caused by his exposure to the outside world? To be fair, are all phobias caused by our exposure to the outside world? Let's take a shower real quick, like. Can I skip this shower, or... Do we get to watch Norman Reedus on AMC, on the TV show Ride, every time? He definitely seems a lot cleaner and less bloody than the last time he took a shower. So... Oh. And he gets a quick blow dry and really tosses those clothes on fast. Um, examine weapon rack? Hey there. Believe we've met. I oversee delivery operations as well as maintenance and repairs. Nice to have you on board. I'm Mama, in case I didn't mention it before. Those there are strands. Not just used for packing, by the way. But for identification, too. Sam's sure blood is woven into the fibers. The right That's your blood. Okay. That's... That's, uh... A modern problem that required a modern solution. Sam, this is Deadman. I calibrated your BB based on physiological data we collected from you earlier. It's still just a best guess, though. After you take it out for a spin, we can check if you're in sync and tweak the BB sensitivity as needed. Okay, does this plot sequence ever uh, ramificate itself in gameplay changes? Uh, speaking of suits, blue is for delivery personnel, red for medical, orange for corpse disposal, and black for security. I hope I don't have to remember that, because it's already gone. Alright. I can examine the table, I can activate the terminal... I can use the sink... Take a photo? Okay. Alright, uh, let's get out of here. Let's activate this terminal. Maybe we can do stuff. With that terminal there, you can browse the bridge's database which has info on a range of subjects. You don't have clearance for everything, but there's still plenty you might find informative. Okay, nope, that is not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a way out of here. Leave the private room. Die hard man. Where is your friend well, Lethal Weapon Man? Any chance to think it over? And Beverly Hills Cop Man. Chalk full of Chirelium, but safe for you Dooms guys to wear. That's all you'll need to go forth and reconnect the world. To make us whole again. I'm a porter. I don't care about connecting anything. But even as not. a porter, you're essentially connecting the sender to the receiver. As a delivery person, you are connecting the two together. Also, I do appreciate the minor amount of anti-gravity those things have. But then again, it seems as though the thing that's affecting 
uh, the earth does have its own pull, so to speak. Uh. Listen up, Sam. The terminals Amelie's people built in the towns and cities they pass through on their journey west are called knots. Of course, because when you're using rope to pull someone, you are connecting people with a knot, much like his man bun. Sometimes wired, sometimes wireless, and a small amount of data. So, unless the necessary data stored on site, our chirograms won't show up. Emily and the other Bridges members you've seen around the place are grams generated with local data. Grams? Anyway, all you've got to do is find the knot, connect your cupid, and bring chiral communications online. Once you connect it to the terminal, you'll be able to initiate zero time massive data transmission with the UCA network. Or ZTMDT, like as it's better known the around these the parts. Past. Now, the question I have is like, how often am I going to have to make a return trip here? Um, am I going to be able to find places where I could rest, recover? out in the field, or am I expected to go out to these uh, locations, connect uh, bridges, and, and then come back? Since the Death Stranding will be ours again. And that, my friend, is how we'll beat this thing. Once you establish Cairo communications, generating grams won't be an issue. You'll also be able to use Cairo printers. Oh, and I, I believe you use that to make to things. All kinds of things through the wire. Except anything original. Or that's got a soul. Nothing real. Just copies. True. Which is why we'll still need porters like you. Before and after we're made whole, we'll need men in the middle. No rest for the wicked, huh? Truly, this is a good year for middlemen everywhere. Yeah, well, idle hands and all that. We'll give you the details at the dispatch terminal. Make sure you check it upstairs. Drop's waiting up there, too. These shoes look like they've done some serious miles. Shall I dispose of them? Wait. Hold on. There's something I want you to look into. My blood seemed to set those things off. Happened more than once. Set them off? How do you mean? I don't know. You took my blood, didn't you? You tell me. All right. I'll see what I. I like do. these uh, answering questions with questions. But yeah, um, his blood was on his shoes. Okay, so when the BT hit the glass, it didn't cause the BT to bleed. The blood was already there on the floor from. Sam's shoes, and when the BT touched the blood on the floor, it freaked out. I would imagine that would be disconcerting every time that you uh, connected to a system of any sort, whether it is a baby in a jar or anything else, uh, that it caused you to have uh, visual and auditory connections to that person's past. Like a, like a quick flash of hallucination. Alright. 
Where can I pick an order from? Now, I believe somewhere around here, there, there's a whole bunch of random cameos with uh, the deliveries. Including, I, I think, Sam, Edgar Wright is, uh, is in here. Your current objective is to extend the Kyrie network from here. Along with a couple We're other directors. But don't think you can make a beeline straightforward. Signal won't carry that far. To cover the distance, we need to utilize knots. Think of it like uh, tying ropes together to make a longer rope. The first of these knots is a bridge's way station. Go ahead and take a look at the order. Deliver whatever they need and connect the cupid. What do you need? This is for Nick Easton. Uh, smart drug delivery. Uh, deliver the smart drugs. Order summaries may contain information critical to your success. Make sure to review them before getting underway. Sam, now we've supplied you with some rope and a ladder for this run. They should help with the steeper inclines, and the ladder will also make a halfway decent bridge if you need to cross a river. Right now, I figure you're thinking about how you want to handle this order. Okay. Okay, so by choosing extra tools, uh, that will also mean that, um, do I want multiple ladders? Um, let's head out, I guess. Order assigned. All right. Hold on. Is that one of the ladders I just left there? Yeah, that is a ladder. That is fine. Um, how... How do I get to where I need to go? Let's remove all markers. We are heading all the way over there. So, probably the easiest method is going to be to exit the city, follow the coast. So let's plot a route there. Plot her out. The watchtower. Plot her out there. And then plot her out there and there. And have a pleasant journey. That's I guess uh ease is a um is a relative term. I suppose it's as easy as any hike gets. Sam. Triple check your loadout, I take it. Of course. Ooh, open equipment HUD. Okay. I have 224 milliliters of urination. I will urinate right here. How do I urinate?
No. Oh, okay. That exp that that keeps things simple. I cannot urinate on the concrete. Interesting how the game marks like uh, the depth of the land inside the truck as well. Sam, you see that sign someone left over there? You can leave some of your own if you'd like. Messages, warnings, words of encouragement, whatever comes to mind. Keeping on. Use L1 and. Ban. Likers get liked. Um. Don't give up. I was hoping for something similar to like "Don't give up, skeleton." Sam, even the best porters have been known to lose their cargo, but you're better than the best. You've got what it takes to finish what they started. If you come across any abandoned shipments, consider taking them to their intended destination. It's easier than you might think. See, all our packages are tagged with Bridges IDs for easy tracking. And your Oja deck is equipped with a scanner which might detect said IDs. Which is a roundabout way of saying that that thing on your shoulder can help you locate mislaid shipments. Alright. Although it makes me wonder if it also depends on the path that you end up choosing to... Parcel is a promise made to a person in need. And they're counting on you to deliver. You know, I wonder if I could have gotten that whole speech about America uh, while I was making this trip rather than... Uh, hold on. Ah, shit. It appears, though, the, the, that the path the game has expected me to take is slightly different from the path that I had started to take. Um, but let's see if I can actually get any of these things to where they're supposed to go without falling on my ass. Ah, some disc-based media. Everybody loves... disc-based media. Cargo and show have a lower as the cargo will be strapped down with a backpack band. When carrying a large amount of cargo, adjusting its positioning can increase stability and reduce strain on your body. Okay. Should I eventually start carrying some of this in my hands? Aw <clears throat> oh, yeah, everybody loves that disc-based media. Digital downloads are suckers. Also, how does one... Ah, stamina restoring energy drink in my canteen has been treated with anti-freeze technology. I also have a monster energy drink. Or is that... No, that is the monster energy drink. A stamina restoring drink, monster energy. 
Any timefall or other water that comes into contact with the canteen is absorbed, filtered, and mixed with the energy particles inside. Sunglasses designed with Homo Ludens in mind. Their form encourages the wearer never to forget their playful side. Standard issue Bridges Boots. Now, how do I... There we go. And that's how I can manage cargo. Oh. That's interesting. Okay. Now I look horrifying. But if the game says uh, the weight is better, is handled better, then I suppose that's good. Whew. Though I'm, it seems like though it does have a, an effect on my speed. Like uh, I'm not quite running as fast as oh no no that's too too much too much inertia. Okay, so I'm at 33 out of 120 kilograms, which means I am carrying. 64 pounds of stuff on my person, about 66 pounds of stuff. On my back, arms, and legs. Which, I mean, I suppose that's not that terrible. Like, at work, I'm carrying stuff uh, that's like 50 pounds. Like, I regularly carry like 50 pound bags. Although, I suppose I'm not carrying it for miles. Oh. All right. Good work, Sam. I see you brought in some lost cargo. Feel free to submit it here for processing. If you come across any more while out on a run and don't think you can carry it to its destination, you can always put it in storage. It'll be safe and secure until another porter comes along to finish the job. Even if it has to pass through a dozen more hands before it arrives, you can rest easy knowing you did your part. I did my part. And trusting, if lost cargo is taken to a facility other than its intended de destination, and trust the delivery, submit the cargo at the facility and entrust its deliver delivery to another player. Okay. Okay, so I get so many likes for dropping it off here, but I get more likes. If I actually take it all the way. Huh. Although I suppose that becomes the uh, the difficulty in collecting everything and keeping everything attached. Ooh, some plant samples. I'm going to see how far I can. I can. Tr I can hold things together. And eventually, uh, like after I grab these next couple items, I'm going to go back to the managing the load screen, um, balance things out again. Some tableware. Some necessary tableware. They, could, they just can't survive the end of the world without these... Tablewares and this disc-based media. Come up against 
a sheer clear for a steep slope. Don't forget about the ladder we issued you. Be sure to try it out. I'd be interested in what use of a seasoned pro like you might find for it. Um, okay. And that's the thing. The game wants me to go down this path. Like, it would probably be easy for me to go down a different path, but I will manage my cargo. Um, let's auto-arrange, because I don't actually want to think about it. Though it looks as though... Now, is it telling me where I should place ladders? Or is it... Yeah, I think that's what's going on. All right. Do I want to leave it there, or do I want to take it with me? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm. What button is it telling me to push? That is a lot of cargo. Holy crap. Okay. I look horrifying. Maybe we should have more than one person carry these things. Pack mule the game. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Rearrange this tar cargo because I gathered a whole lot. Alright, so that seems to move the giant canisters towards the bottom. Which I suppose seems like a good idea. Now I get it. I was wondering what that line was, and essentially that is the distance of the chiral network. Okay. Alright, let us... Climbing anchor... With any luck, this rope is long enough. Let us look at the map, manage this cargo again.
Did that lower the weight? Interesting. Um, where am I in relation to where I should be? Okay, I'm doing fairly decently. Nope, that's not the button I wanted. That's the button I wanted. Nope. Oh, and there's Capital Not City, I presume. I would imagine that the presence of BTs would make this tricky, but I also imagine that um, as a game, you're not expected to actually fight against creatures while you're doing deliveries because there is no additional button for using a weapon. Like, your R2 and your L2 are designated... Oh. Uh, okay. So, is your level of risk? So when it shows all those X's in the vehicle, it's really kind of telling me the level of risk based on that incline is problematic. Okay, this looks like it's going to be a bit bulky, so I'm going to immediately... Okay, I have reached the cargo limit. Um, auto range. Is that problematic? What is the heaviest thing I've got? It's backup fuel. Did I not remove it? No, I did not. Let, let's auto-arrange. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that is definitely going to be a problem. Yeah, if I'm not even going to be able to move... Nope. Nope. Alright, I think I'm gonna have to cross the water. Let us pick... this spot here. Nope, nope. Okay, I think I'm just going to make a beeline for Capital Not City. Considering how much stuff I've got on my person. Nope. There. Yo, um, son of a... <sighs> okay, so this game is slightly stressful in regards to, uh... It's managing all of the weight on top of your person. Slightly cartoonish because of all of the weight. Like, at the, on one hand... Although I suppose you could say that's kind of like Hideo. Uh, Hideo's games are both very serious but also very cartoonish at the same time. Like, he ac accepts that combination. Like, you have this baby that connects you to the other side, but it blows bubbles the shapes of hearts.
All right. Let us deliver this cargo. Okay, I have to deliver the smart drugs first. Thank you. We've all been feeling the loss of Central Knot City. No one seemed to know what it meant for the organization. Or the UCA. Or us. The oxytocin will take the edge off and that'll be a big help. Won't be long before we're back on track. We may have a look. So we're taking drugs so we can feel better. Gotcha. Again. Yeah, everything looks to be in good order. And soon our way station will be too, I hope. All right. Awesome. Also, a very Persona-esque uh, star. And the way how, like, uh, Persona 4 and 5 measure the ca your uh, character's abilities. You're with the second team, right? Where are the others? Dead. Caught in the void out. No way. That one blast got them all? And what what about Jimmy? What phone? about Jimmy? It I mean, got it everybody. Thing, porters come through from time to time, but the second team was meant to bring the Cupid. They were going to connect us up. Well, three luckily years, for you, I've got said Cupid. Three years, and they sent us one guy. Who was... Shit, shit, shit! Tell me you brought more than the oxy, at least. I've got the Cupid. You really? So it's true. They finally got it working. Well. Then you just might be the answer to my prayers. So, what are you waiting for? But you, you put us on the goddamn grid. This would probably look less goofy if Sam wasn't carrying 300 pounds of goods on his person. My journey west has begun. I can construct a post box. Connection to Capital Not City confirmed. It's really happening. What, just like Amelie promised. We can finally do what we came here to do. Hey, you're headed west, right? Gonna be a lot of people happy to see you. I guess you'll keep on till you hit the coast, huh? Which means you'll get to see Amelie in person. Oh, that's something. That is really something. I... Me, I've never met her. Only seen her hollow message. Amelie's so cool. I've got the Bridges trading cards. You best be careful the one with the gold folio. There's some bad people out there. More than good, some say. <laughs> but I don't need to tell you that. Thank you, Sam. By bringing that way station into the Cairo network, you've put it in direct contact with those of us back here in Capital Not City. Right. What's next? West of the way station are a couple of structures our previous expedition put in place. And beyond them is your next destination, Port Knot City. It's on the shore of a crater lake that formed after the first void out. Your objective is to link up Port and Capital Knot. But to do that, you'll need to utilize our facilities as additional waypoints. They'll be essential for establishing a stable connection. 
Okay, so go to the waypoints in order to complete the objective. Gotcha. I've played video games before. Start with the distro center. We've got some cargo that needs delivering anyway. Check the nearby delivery terminal to pick it up. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. All right, I'm going to see if I can just drop off all of this stuff I'm carrying. Oh, uh, the game decides it wants to do more tutorials. The increase in network capacity, HQ is now in a position to provide you with additional materials and support. Should prove useful. Okay. Now I can deliver all of this lost cargo. And trust lost cargo that can't be returned here to other porters. What does that mean? Just shove all of that in there. Okay, so I got a bunch of likes for completing out all of this for timefall resistant wood for underwear. All right. Yeah, I brought a lot of yeah. Cargo has been entrusted to another player. Hmm. People think of you as a porter who can be relied upon for basic orders, but with time and effort, you may one day be recognized as a true legend. You have reached miscellaneous grade 10. You will now receive more likes. Okay. Well, next time I will take on some more deliveries, uh, do some more jobs. But in the meantime, folks, I think uh, now's a good time to stop for now. Uh, got any suggestions for something to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have yourselves a good night.